guys, this is Food by Faith, and today I'm coming to you with another hashtag holiday treat. So today the treat that we are going to make is called a socket to me cake. I was asked by one of our amazing soil sisters, would I do this cake for them? And of course I said yes. So we start by preheating our oven to 375 degrees, which I have preheating right now. So suck it to me cake. It is um, a cake that actually can be made semi-homemade. So if you have, this is Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Butter Golden Cake Mix. You can start your socket to me cake that way, or if you have your favorite vanilla cake, homemade cake recipe, you can do yours this way. But for uh, YouTube purposes and for a holiday treat, I think a semi-homemade cake would just be amazing. And this makes a great cake. So we start with oh, let up our mixer. So we start with our bag of cake mix then we're going to add four eggs we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar one fourth cup of sugar one fourth cup of water and a third cup of oil we're also going to add one cup of sour cream so guys make sure before you get started again you preheat your oven as well as spray your bunt pan. So there are so many different sizes of bunt pans. I think I have four different bunt pans that I use, but this is the one that I'm gonna use for today. And this is what I use to spray the pan with. It's called Baker's Joy. And then it's a mixture of flour and oil and it just kind of helps you out. There used to be a time where I would oil my pan with short shortening and then um, shake the flour in there or I will spray the pan and then shake the flour in there. Well now, um, Baker's Joy as well as another brand, I believe it's Pam, that has it where the mixture is in there together. So it makes life so much easier for everyone. I also have some ingredients over here for the glaze that we will use after the cake is made and that is in my Pampered Chef container here. I have two cups of powdered sugar. I have two teaspoons of homemade vanilla extract. And I have a tablespoon of milk. You can use um, nut milk if you so choose. Soy milk for some of you who um, don't even want to use nut milks. And to sub the sour cream, you can use the silk... Um, yogurt so you can use um instead of sour cream you can use the silk yogurt as well as just regular greek yogurt if you so choose those are great substitutes for your sour cream sorry i had to step away and get a spoon i have on occasions decided to pop these open and cake mix went everywhere so guys, there is no shame in using cake mix and making a semi-homemade cake recipe. If it's going to save you time and you're still able to get an amazing holiday treat out to your family, do it. Go for it. I never attempt to shame anybody when it comes to my craft of food or gardening. Um, gardening comes first and then the food comes second because, of course, you need your garden to provide the food. But I always feel like do what you can do. Um, and if you can't, let someone else do it for you. Uh, I know nowadays a lot of people are having different issues with people telling them what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing at this present time. There is no pressure. When it comes to cooking, you just sit back, relax, turn on some good music um one of our internet cousins david hunt he plays some amazing soothing music and sit back listen to him and get your cook on 
Never, ever, ever let what you do in your kitchen be stressful. So right now, guys, what you see me doing is the dump method. Basically, what I'm doing is adding all my ingredients that go into the cake, into the cake right now. So what you will see that I have held to the side is two tablespoons of, I'm going to come a little closer, two tablespoons of brown sugar. So guys, our brown sugar and our cinnamon, that's what is going to be in the center of our cake. It's going to make our streusel. So we're going to place those in there. And I was tell, as I was telling you earlier, this is a dump cake. So as you can see, I've already dumped in my oil. I dumped in my sugar. I dumped in my water. I put in my sour cream. We put in our cake mix. And now we're going to add our eggs one at a time. Making sure that we're saving our shells for our compost. Guys, making this socket to me cake, it reminds me of being with my family during the holidays. This was something that my aunt did. Um, for every holiday that we had, this was her cake. This was the cake that she prepared for everybody. And I mean, we took it out. I mean, seriously, we took it out. And uh, so I haven't eaten it in a little while. And that's because I was eating it entirely too much. So what we're gonna do is, as you saw me doing earlier i kind of hit the blender like that and that is simply so that everything doesn't explode out of the blender and now we're going to let it blend for about two minutes and while that is blending we're going to mix our cinnamon and our sugar because remember that's what's going to make our streusel so in your streusel you can also add nuts because my family doesn't really like nuts in their cake, I don't put nuts in it. So I only put the cinnamon, the brown sugar, and you can also add some cake mix in there as well. But for me, it's going to be the cinnamon and the brown sugar, and I'm going to add just a little powdered sugar in here as well. And the powdered sugar is an option, just like adding the nuts are an option. Again, you don't have to worry about uh, taking down the ingredients as I say them, because I may be speaking a little bit too fast um, for some of you guys to write, because everything will be in the description box, okay? Let that mix for a little while. We're not going to over mix anything. Just trying to make sure we don't have any lumps in our cake. All right, and that's good. Again, guys, this is a semi homemade treat. So it shouldn't take you that long. The longest thing is baking. So even when you're doing your mise en place, you're getting all your ingredients together, it doesn't take that long because again, you're starting off with your box cake mix. You have your oil, you have your water, you have your sugar, you have your eggs and your sour cream. If you so choose, again, you can always substitute that sour cream and use your silk based products or just a regular Greek yogurt. All right, 
guys, as you can see, I have my streusel mix mixed up here. Let's shuffle around a little bit of our mess here. So now we are going to place our cake in our cake pan, in our bunt pan. And guys, this also can be done with a hand mixer if you do not have a stand mixer. It can be mixed by hand as well, but that's a lot of work. Before I was gifted this KitchenAid by my brother-in-law years ago, when I first started um cooking in my kitchen i was in the military i had an old sunbeam mixture mixer guys and i mean this was an old sunbeam stand mixer i actually purchased it from a thrift store on the military base at fort lewis washington and that's where i was stationed at the time so i purchased that sunbeam stand mixer from that thrift store and i kept it at least for eight years and again it was an old mixer it was already used purchased from a thrift store but it lasted me eight years and then I bought a used KitchenAid and then my brother-in-law gifted me with this wonderful KitchenAid a brand new one for Christmas um, last year so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little over half of our mixture into our pan. So what we have right now is a little over half of our mixture in our pan, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that streusel mixture in there. Again, guys, what I used was brown sugar, cinnamon, and powdered sugar. You can use brown sugar, cinnamon, and some of the cake mix, brown sugar, cinnamon, and nuts, just brown sugar, There are so many different variations that you can do to personalize this cake. Again, this is a holiday treat. This is something that we are making for our family. So there's no need to overcomplicate it. There's no need to make it stressful. Cooking is relaxing. It's fun. And it's engaging. So guys, we're gonna put the rest of our cake batter in just covering up our streusel. And remember, we don't wanna waste anything. So let's make sure we get all the cake batter out of our bowl. Guys, I don't know the real origin of socket to me cake, but I do know that you can watch <laughs> almost any African American movie at holiday time and they are serving a socket to me cake. I remember the first time I watched um, the movie This Christmas with Chris Brown. And I saw them serving the socket to me cake. I found that to be hilarious. Um, but the first time I ever saw a socket to me cake recipe was actually on this cake mix box. Um, on the back side, on the side actually of the cake mix box, they used to have different recipes that you could make with their cake mix. So guys, right now we're going to put our cake into the oven. I'm going to bring you over so that you can see what our cake looks like 
and then we're gonna put it, place it into the oven, okay? So this is what our cake is looking like. You can see that I used the rest of the batter to cover up our streusel. And now we are going into our oven that has been preheated to 375 degrees. And then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, we are back. So it's been just a quick minute for you guys, but it has been 35 minutes for me. I set the timer um, originally at 45 minutes, but um, I have a convection oven, so <clears throat> it works a little bit faster. It works similar to a air fryer, as some of you may have. Um, but in your regular conventional oven, it may take 35 to 40 minutes to bake this cake. So now we are going to take our cake out of the oven. Guys, make sure you are always being careful. Of course, I have my mitts. And so what I have set the cake on, I have it on a, um, a cooling rack. And I'm going to sit it here for just a few minutes um, while we make our glaze. So we're going to move that out of the way. So I have a little whisk here. Remember, we have our two cups of powdered sugar. We have our tablespoon of milk and our two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're gonna mix those together. Guys, I have all kinds of gadgets and gadgets. Um, I am, one of my jobs is being a Pampered Chef Consultant so I have a lot of stuff. So a lot of the items that you see me use, um, they're a Pampered Chef brand. And not only <clears throat> because I sell it, but I began as a buyer first. Um, I enjoy the warranty that they have. Again, I've talked about this in other videos that I have made that with Pampered Chef, a lot of the items, almost all of the items except for the food items, comes with the warranty and all of the cookware comes with a lifetime guarantee so if anything happens to it you just send home office a picture and they'll replace it Mennonite farmhouse you know what I'm talking about because she has a ton of pamper chef just like I do so guys we're gonna keep mixing this glaze And it's going to be thick, and that's what you want. And I know two cups of powdered sugar seemed like a lot compared to the liquid that we had. <clears throat> but as you know, powdered sugar, it doesn't take much liquid to turn it into a glaze or an icing. There is a sweet potato spice cake that I make, and I make an icing similar to this, but I add maple syrup to it, and oh my gosh, y'all, it that, that thing hit different. It, it's amazing. So I'm going to bring you over so that you can see what my icing looks like, or as some may call glaze. So this is what our glaze looks like right now. It's nice and thick. Guys, I wish you could smell this. Oh my gosh. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our pan, turn our cake, out of our pan and let it rest on our cooling rack. And guys, what you will do, how I do this, uh, I place it on a trivet. I take 
my cooling rack and I place it on top of my cake pans. And this is how I do all of my cakes. And I turn it out. Guys, remember this pan is steaming hot. So make sure you are being careful. And there we have our socket to me cake. Look at that. Guys, it only took us maybe an hour all together to be able to prepare this amazing cake. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let your cake completely cool and then you'll put your glaze on. And the reason why I'll allow it to completely cool is because I don't want all the glaze to just drain off underneath. And even once I'm placing the glaze on the cooled cake, what I'll do is I'll place a piece of parchment underneath. I'll pour my glaze over the top, starting with the center and then going to the outside. And any that drains down to the bottom, you can also take that and pour it back over. But that's only if you do it while your cake is hot. Because if you do your glaze while the cake is cold, whenever it drops down to the parchment, it will become a little stiff and you won't be able to just pour it back over the top. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today for our hashtag holiday treat. It was fun to be able to bring you along as we make this southern staple of socket to me cake. Guys, this is an amazing cake for any um, event that you are attending. It is something quick and easy for your family events. And guys, remember... Have faith in your food and get up, get out, and grow something. Thank you. This is Food by Faith, and today I'm coming to you with another hashtag holiday treat. So today the treat that we are going to make is called a socket to me cake. I was asked by one of our amazing soil sisters, would I do this cake for them? And of course I said yes. So we start by preheating our oven to 375 degrees, which I have preheating right now. So suck it to me cake. It is um, a cake that actually can be made semi-homemade. So if you have, this is Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Butter Golden Cake Mix. You can start your socket to me cake that way, or if you have your favorite vanilla cake, homemade cake recipe, you can do yours this way. But for uh, YouTube purposes and for a holiday treat, I think a semi-homemade cake would just be amazing. And this makes a great cake. So we start with, oh, let's up our mixer. So, we start with our bag of cake mix. Then we're going to add four eggs. We're going to add a quarter cup of sugar, one fourth cup of sugar, one fourth cup of water, and a third cup of oil. We're also gonna add one cup of sour cream. So guys, make sure before you get started, again, you preheat your oven as well as spray your bunt pan. So there are so many different sizes of bunt pans. I think I have four different bunt pans that I use, but this is the one that I'm gonna use for today. And this is what I use to spray 
the pan with. It's called Baker's Joy. And then it's a mixture of flour and oil and it just kind of helps you out. There used to be a time where I would oil my pan with short shortening and then um, shake the flour in there or I would spray the pan and then shake the flour in there. Well, now um, Baker's Joy as well as another brand, I believe it's Pam, that has it where the mixture is in there together. So it makes life so much easier for everyone. I also have some ingredients over here for the glaze that we will use after the cake is made. And that is in my Pampered Chef container here. I have two cups of powdered sugar. I have two teaspoons of homemade vanilla extract. And I have a tablespoon of milk. You can use um, nut milk if you so choose, soy milk for some of you who um, don't even want to use nut milks. And to sub the sour cream, you can use the silk um, yogurt. So you can use, um, instead of sour cream, you can use the silk yogurt as well as just regular Greek yogurt if you so choose. Those are great substitutes for your sour cream. I had to step away and get a spoon. I have on occasions decided to pop these open and cake mix went everywhere. So guys, there is no shame in using cake mix and making a semi-homemade cake recipe. If it's gonna save you time and you're still able to get an amazing holiday treat out to your family, do it, go for it. I never attempt to shame anybody when it comes to my craft of food or gardening. Um, gardening comes first and then the food comes second because, of course, you need your garden to provide the food. But I always feel like do what you can do. Um, and if you can't, let someone else do it for you. Uh, I know nowadays a lot of people are having different issues with people telling them what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing at this present time. There's no pressure. When it comes to cooking, you just sit back, relax, turn on some good music. Um, one of our internet cousins, David Hunt, he plays some amazing, soothing music. And sit back, listen to him, and get your cook on. Never, ever, ever let what you do in your kitchen be stressful. So right now, guys, what you see me doing is the dump method. Basically, what I'm doing is adding all my ingredients that go into the cake, into the cake right now. So what you will see that I have held to the side is two tablespoons of, I'm going to come a little closer, two tablespoons of brown sugar, 